All right. Everyone, welcome to the live stream. So today we're going to be doing the drawing for the... Sorry, the sound is a little bit delayed. Okay. All right. I got to decide what to what to mute and what to use. I'm going to mute this. Okay. Cool. Okay. So Everything's muted. There's a slight delay, um, but if you do chat, I will read your chats and try to respond to them. So today we're doing a live stream for the prize um, for getting to 3,000 subscribers. And I'm also going to give you an introduction to um, basically 3D printing for the Reef Aquarium. So what we have here is what we're going to be giving away. It's going to be the, um, this is a really old, outdated um, Neptune Aqua Controller Junior. And so it basically has a temperature probe and it has this um, little Aqua Controller Junior module. So this was way back before Neptune Systems uh, became the dominant player in the reefing community that it is today. And so I'll be giving that away. Um, but in doing live streams, there always takes some time for people to join. And so a lot of times people just have a conversation before. And today what I'm going to do um, basically to take up a little bit of time before the drawing. So we'll do the drawing at uh, 1.45. Um, so the drawing's at 1.45. And I'm going to try to see how quick in the next 15 minutes I can give a quick tutorial on how to use a um, free online uh, computer-aided software program to CAD up a component for a reef tank and then 3D print it. So I'll have this whole video next week a little more edited specifically on 3D printing things for the reef tank. Um, but if you want to make things for your aquarium using 3D printing, uh, it's, it takes more than just buying a 3D printer. You got to have a software to design what you want if you want something uh, that's very specific for your tank. So, um, all right, comments are coming in. So, hello. So, okay, so drawing is going to be in 15 minutes. Um, but for now, I'm going to show you how to design things for your tank. So. Uh, I have two innovative marine tanks, and one thing that um, is a common problem is I tend to lose these clips. So these are the clips used to hold the screen net tops on. Another thing is you might want clips um, or things like this for, um, uh, Jesse's at work. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess, you know, they allow you to watch videos at work. That's pretty cool. So, um, Basically, these clips, you can use them to um, clip on all sorts of stuff. It's a useful thing. So that's what we're going to design today in the CAD package and try to do that in 15 minutes before we get to the drawing. So I'll show you how easy it really is um, if we can get to that in the time that we have. So another example, something that I've 3D printed. So this is a um, probe holder. This is not a probe holder. Actually, this is a probe holder. And I'll send this out um, with the prize kind of package. But um, this is something I 3D printed. Um, it just says pH and temperature, and it holds the probes. It's great. So 3D printing's great skill. You can get 3D printers now for like 175 bucks for the really, really cheap, tiny ones. For a lot of things in the reef tank, um, that's all you need. Um, but this is another thing I made. Um, and if I can find the actual file to it, I'm going to put it on my website, um, the STL files, so you can um, basically, if you you know get these files, you can print them yourself. So um, I will start putting those files on the website, and I'll put the file from today. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way. So 
All right, now we only have 14 minutes to the drawing, so let's see if we can actually design a clip for our reef tank in 14 minutes. I'm going to share my screen, and that is going to enable you to kind of see um, what we're working on. So um, I'm screen sharing present to everyone. Okay. So I don't know if you can see my screen yet. Let's wait just a second. Okay, so here's the screen. This is this is my website where you can buy t-shirts. I post my videos here. Uh, I talk about my tanks. And so I'm going to have a tab here where either a tab or on some page where you can download um, the files for 3D printing things. But web page is slowing down your browser. I don't know. Uh, let's just close that. That's not that important right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to sign up for Onshape, and this is an online uh, CAD program. And what's great about this, you don't have to install any software. It works on every computer, and it's free to use as long as everything is um, basically online and open to use. So um, I'll create a name. We'll Aquatic Hacker, that sounds good. Um, so the temporary account, I'm just going to use 10 minute mail. So I think I'm going to have to refresh this to get a new email. And do that. Looks like it's a five minute email. What describes me? I'm a hobbyist and a maker. OK, let's get started. OK. So if you go to Onshape, you can probably follow along and do this stuff um, right now. But um, let's see. Let's be the CEO and 111111. One, 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 one. OK. Not a robot. Let's pick a storefront. I think those are all storefronts. Who knows? Uh, motorcycles. All right. This is taking longer than I thought. We got a drawing in now 11 minutes. So let's see if we can get there. Is it letting me go? I don't want a professional trial. OK, so it's frozen. Um, hmm. I promise you that, that this works, but because I, I did have another account. Maybe they don't like my my email. Let's see. OK, so this is the challenge with doing things live. So maybe in the future, we're going to do um, some CAD. But um, it doesn't look like we're necessarily going to do it today. We have 10 minutes until the drawing. Um, so let's see. Let's go back to my screen. And let's see if we have any comments or questions. So once again, sorry for that delay. Um, don't really know why it's not working. But if you have any questions, this is a good time for questions. Um, you can post them in the chat. Um, basically, some we're going to do the drawing now in 10 minutes. And um, I've got basically all the names in a hat. What I asked people to do was tell me uh, what their favorite fish is. And so that is that is the name of the game. And See, I'm just trying to log in. All right.
OK. So now, are you sure the material is suitable for reef tanks? Yeah, so let's talk about that. That's a really good question. Um, so there's typically three types of materials that you can use when 3D printing um, that are, well, that are really common. There's actually an infinite number. But there's PLA, which stands for polylactic acid. Um, it's a biodegradable plastic. Typically, that's seen as a little less compatible for applications when it touches water because it is biocompatible and, uh, you know, it or biodegradable, so it could um, go into your reef tank. Um, a really good biocompatible material, they have a polycarbonate um, material that you can get. Um, also, ABS is um, good for applications where things touch water. Um, a lot of my stuff, like filter sock holders and stuff, have been made out of ABS. Um, the challenge with ABS is a little more difficult to print. And then there's another material, and I forgot what it was, so I'll try to explain that and go through that in the video next week. That is um, probably, I would say, the most compatible um, you know, with the water. But in general, I'm not too concerned about any of these plastic materials. When you look at all of the plastic and stuff we have in our tanks, you know, we have pumps. Um, we're dumping in all different things. Um, we have water going through PVC. Um, so I'm not too concerned, but for things that like clips and other things that aren't going to be in the water, PLA is just fine and it's the easiest to print. Um, I know ABS is 100% fine for people things in the water. Sometimes different colors and additives are added and that can change um, the situation. So, um, all right, we're going to do, we've got like, Seven minutes. Let's see if we can make a reef clip in seven minutes. Um, so then we can do the drawing. So I'm going to um, basically, uh, can you still see my screen? Let's see. Um, share screen, application window, share. OK, so present to everyone, I think. All right, so now we're sharing my screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this little reef clip. And so this is kind of what most CAD programs look like. And basically, we're just going to pick a plane. So you just click on it to see um, what you want to draw on. And then we're going to click Sketch. So that's going to be our sketch. I kind of want to look at the sketch or at the plane. So front plane, that's correct. So we're going to click on that. So now we're in our sketch. And we want to view normal, too. So it's like we're lined up with it. And basically, for this, I'm going to just draw out um, what the um, let's see. We're going to edit this sketch. OK. So I'm going to draw out what the clip kind of looks like to me. So it starts in the center, goes up a little bit over, up, over, up, over, uh, goes a little bit farther down, over, up, across, and then down to there, to the center. OK, so it took like, I don't know, 30 seconds to outline that whole clip. We got five more minutes until the drawing, so who knows? Maybe we'll have a part by then. And the next step you need to do is just kind of measure the dimensions of either your tank or the clip you're trying to reproduce. In this case, I'm just trying to reproduce a clip that I lost. And so what I have here um, is a pair of calipers. And so these are a great measuring tool. And I'm just going to use them to um, basically measure um, everything. And I think, I think things are specified in inches, so it's basically 0.118. Um, wide, so I'll just do a point. And then I'm just going to add dimensions to everything. So I'm going to switch back to the screen. And then, so here's our aquarium clip. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the dimension tool, um, which is somewhere in here. It's always hard to do these things live. Here it is. So here's the dimension tool. And we're just going to start dimensioning things. So um, the distance between this is 0 0.01. Um, 
two. Let's do that. Kind of round. Oh, wow, the whole thing shrunk. And then the distance between here is also 0 0.012. And here, 0 0.012. And here is also the same, 0 0.012. So those are primary dimensions, and then we're so close, we're going to do the drawing in four minutes. So it looks like it's quarter inch, because it's a quarter inch glass, so this is a little bit more than a quarter inch, 0.255. So we're just going to dimension this, 0 0.255. Is that really right? I think I screwed up. Oh. I messed up all these dimensions, guys. This is a beginner's mistake. This is going to really mess things up. All right. So I got to re I got to edit all these dimensions. So point one two. All right, three minutes till the drawing. Can we do it? I don't know. Can we make a re? Oh, wow, this is really messed up now. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Quick, add the rest of the dimensions. So, length of this overhang is 0 0.6. The height of the clip on this side is 0 0.9. And then the height of the clip on this side is, let's see, 0 0.829. All right. Does that look like our aquarium clip yet? Uh, we need one more dimension, the height from this to there. And that is... 0 0.23. All right. So we have two minutes until we're doing the drawing now. And let's see, two minutes until the drawing, and we already have all our dimensions for this aquarium clip ready to go. And so now we're just going to click, OK, we finished that sketch. And so this is pretty easy. Anyone can do it. Uh, you can sign up for a free account on one shape. And if you need to make things like aquarium clips or other things, uh, we just did it really quick. And then now that you have a sketch, what you want to do is turn that into a 3D shape. Um, this is really easy. There's a lot of different things you can do for shapes, but the easiest one is to extrude. And so we're going to extrude this. Um, we're just going to click on that. And then that is going to show you how it's basically going to take that profile and stretch it a certain dimension. And so that's 1.583 inches. Kind of weird dimensions, but I did not design the clip. Checkbox. And now, now we've got a clip. So that's sweet. All ready for our aquarium. And so now what we do is um, we can just download it and um, let's see, we'll export it. So export the clip. STL file is what you want for uh, most 3D printer programs. You'll import it into the program and then um, you'll export it. Okay, we're about five minutes away from finishing this part and then we'll do the drawing. So if you can hold on for five more minutes, um, aqua clip, STL units. I remember, even though I designed it in inches, I think millimeter, you can always redo it, but I think millimeter is the right, um, the right one for me. So then download, and then we want to save file, and then we've downloaded the clip. So open file. So now we've already created a clip to 3D print. Um, 
And now I just have to bring it into um, my basically my program. So I'm going to stop screen sharing and open up the program. Let's see. Let's start screen sharing again. Oh. Screen two, share. OK. And so then this is the program that comes with my 3D printer. And we're just going to load in the file. So we're going to load the file there. So now the file is into the program. And from here, we can just select the file. And so this is just software that comes with the, um, with the 3D printer. And I'm just going to rotate it to an orientation that I think is going to print well. It's, it's kind of difficult um, to know which is going to be the best orientation to print it in. Um, because you kind of want, you have to have support materials. So you kind of want the least amount of stuff um, needing to be supported. So this might be good because there's a big flat surface. I'm going to go with that. Um, there's going to be a little bit of material I'm going to have to rip out from the inside. If I do it like this, it'll probably fit the best. Actually, I'm going to do it like that. So then we're going to do a PLA. We're going to do a normal print. And because there's this overhang here, we're going to print a support structure. And then that's going to take two hours to print. I'm not going to keep you guys here for that whole two hours. I'm just going to save that. Next week, um, I can show you how it turned out from the printer. So that's that. Um, any questions on? On 3D printing, let's see, toolpath to SD, done. So it's already in there. We can eject it, and we're done with that. So all right, let's go back to the Hangout. How long does the printer take? Two hours, yep. So it takes a lot of time, and that's, that's OK. But yeah, all 3D printers take a decent amount of time. So let's do the drawing. Um, I hope you learned something. It's really to get started 3D printing. It's not going to be too hard. I will um, put the, um, let's see, pdreef.com. So I will um, find a place on my website to actually put that file. So if you don't want to cat it up and you have an um, innovative marine uh, fusion aquarium, um, you can do that. So. I will have it somewhere, um, maybe blog, or maybe I'll have a tab for 3D printing. So you'll, you'll have to dig around, but I'll, I'll post something in the description of this video so, so you can find it. OK, let's stop this, and let's go to the drawing, because it is time. You guys hung out with me a little bit. I really appreciate um, you guys spending the time to hang out with me, and let's Let's do the drawing. So I got the hat here. Drum roll, please. And I'm just going to pick out uh, one winner. And then that's that's going to be it. I'm not going to draw it out too long um, because I know you guys got places to be. And next week, we'll have some more really cool videos. Um, so it won't be live. This is the prize drawing one. And so basically how you were able to enter this is if you uh, commented on my previous video, um, liked it, subscribed, and in the comment, let me know what your favorite reef tank fish is. So I will pull this out of the hat and let you know um, who the winner is. And Marcel, yeah. So how do you enter? It was um, it was on the previous video. The instructions were on the previous video. Um, so it's okay if you didn't make it into this one. 
Um, I will be doing another giveaway probably at 5,000 subscribers. And who knows? Maybe it'll be better. We'll see. So um, just keep waiting and watch until we hit 5,000. We'll do it again. Okay. So I'm going to do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let me just make sure everything's in view. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. Okay. Okay. I just got to make sure, like, I can't see it all because, you know, everyone's always worried about things being, like, super biased. But these are just YouTube comments I wrote down. Okay. Um, the winner, I don't know if I can actually say their name on the internet, but we'll, we'll translate it. It's Dangit Samit. Um, you know, it rhymes. So Dangit Samit and their uh, favorite fish was the uh, Mandarin uh, Dragon Net. Mandarin Dragon Net. So congratulations, Dangit Samit. And uh, you won. And so um, what you can do so I can ship you the aqua controller is, well, not just the pro, but the whole setup is you can either send me a message on YouTube or you can send me, oh, I dropped it, hopefully it still works, um, on YouTube or on Instagram. And Instagram is puff.daddy.reef.tv. And then um, I will mail it out to you. I'll also toss in a Puff Daddy Reef t-shirt. Um, so just send me your size and congrats. So um, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I'm going to hang out for a couple more minutes if you have a couple questions and then we'll end the video. So I'll open it up to questions. There's a slight uh, 50 second delay or so. Um, I'm not sure why, um, but if you have any questions, um, post them in the comments now, and then I will close the live stream completely out at 2 p.m. Uh, so any questions? Updates on the tank and different things I want to do for the channel. So I've, I've gotten a lot of um, questions about my light, how the lighting system's doing. If you're into 3D, drop dive my channel. I have a few 3D reefs. OK. Alfredo Rios Dues. Dos. Um, great. I will check out your channel. Um, how is this the 20 with no fish? Oh, how's the 20 with no fish? Um, that's a very good question. It has fish now. Uh, so I, I kind of use it as like a pre-quarantine tank. Um, so I just bought some fish. Um, I got a big purple tank. I'm trying that again. I got rid of the rafts that was harassing it. And so next video will probably be about the tank police because this is just a temporary holding place so I can get my quarantine up and cycled. But yeah, I have <laughs> I have a purple tank and the the 20 gallon tank. I can I can show you it. So here is the let's see. Here's the 20 gallon tank. And it has basically a purple tank and more coral than I know what to do with. Tons and tons of tons of stuff. Sorry if you can't hear me because this microphone. So look at all this. And um, still got the clam down there somewhere. But tons of coral. I definitely need to clean it up and the purple tang in there. So tang police definitely um, come and arrest me because I have a purple tang and a 20 gallon. But the reason is, is because it's a quarantine tank and well, it's not quarantine. It's my pre-quarantine tank. While I cycle my quarantine tank, then I'll have them in the quarantine tank just for a short period of time. I want to make sure I get them all fat. I've been feeding them algae all the time to get them as fat as possible um, before I put them in the quarantine tank for two weeks. And then he's going in the big tank. I'll have a purple tank. It'll be awesome. Um, so we have another question um, from Dexter. What is the best time to get an anemone? Um, I'd have to say the best time to get an enemy is uh, probably after your tank is uh, cycled and maybe has some coralline algae. Now, some tanks just don't generate coralline algae for a while, so maybe that's not the best. Because even that tank, the big tank, doesn't really have any coralline algae, or this tank has tons. Um, but you definitely want it to be, I would say, maybe uh, six months into 
cycling your tank that seems like a really long time um but it's really not that long in in the whole like reef tank time frame um but you know you could try it sooner if you want it's just the the early it is the more risky it is um but generally if it's well established the bubble tip anemones do uh, pretty well uh, so all right any other questions i think um most people are checking out so I don't see anything else. Let's end the live stream. Thank you very much for joining me today on this episode of Puff Daddy Reef. I'll get that clip uploaded to my website so you can download it. Um, that's pdreef.com. Also, you can check out videos there. I'm starting to do blog posts. Um, the floating Pico. Yeah, the floating, floating Pico I took down. Um, it was a lot of work. The amount of water volume in that was probably like 10 ounces, and it it just was way too much work. Maybe if I had like a lot more time or or even a bigger um, bigger tank, it would have worked. It was really cool because I was beaming light into it um, using this uh, heater tank, but too much work. I took that down. I want to focus on the, the two tanks that I had and actually filling up this big tank. So that's that's the that's the deal with that. Um, if you remember Inappropriate Reefer, he also had the reef face. Check out his channel. He's got a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, but he had the reef face, and it was kind of the same deal for him. The Pico tank was just a lot of work, hard to take care of. And so that's that's a big lesson learned. There is a There's a size where it just takes so much effort. And uh, the return on the reward isn't that much because all I had on it was just a couple fish or a couple shrimp. Um, so, all right, that wraps it up. Thank you all for joining me. I'll catch you later and have a great day and happy reefing.